title eliminator scheduled for 12 rounds. Holding a record of 22 fights, 21 wins, including 11 KO victories. Challenger, sorry the for the quality. Champion, and the IBF number four contender from Manchester, United Kingdom. Hostile crowd. I'm happy for Huey. He got over his uh, skin condition. Two thirty-six. He's waiting at two two thirty-six. This fight is taking place over on uh, ESPN Plus here in the States and Channel 5 free over there in the UK. Very, 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 very big fight. You know why? It's because Anthony Joshua hasn't had a mandatory since when? When did he win the belt? And also, April is when? 2019. Hold on, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Pulev's in the best shape of uh one hundred kilograms, one oh nine for the cobra. Two forty and a half. Listen, these heavyweights ain't playing around no more. He hasn't weighed this low since two thousand and nine. Two forty and a half, even though he's what, forty years old? He'll be 39 years old in uh, May. He's 38. There's somebody probably yelling at her to get that shit down. That's what they usually do. But like I said, the fight is taking place over on the ESPN uh, Plus. Okay, so this is what we want to do. Let's go look at the record of Anthony Joshua. Not to critique it, but... When was the last time he fought an IBF mandatory? Okay. He won the IBF title from the Prince, Charles Martin. By the time he steps into the ring, April the 13th of 2019, it'll be two years since he beat Prince Charles Martin. Dominic Brazil, Eric Molina, for Klitschko. You can kind of consider the Klitschko fight somewhat of a unification, but then he was supposed to fight Pulev, and guess what? Pulev got injured. Carlos Takam was was the replacement. Nonetheless, look at the date of this fight. If you don't know, the IBF is the most strictest of the sanctioning bodies. Even Tyson Fury was just talking about it last night on Joe Rogan. You know how you know that they they stripped him even though it was a rematch clause. So Joseph Parker unification, Alexander Povetkin, and WBA mandatory. And guess what this is supposed to be. Eddie Hearn is not talking about it. Anthony Joshua is not talking about it. Why? Because they don't want the media talking about it. They are losing control over what happens with that April the 13th date. Unless they get Deontay Wilder because the unification trumps the mandatory. So Kubret Pulev and Huey Fury know this. Their teams know this, how big this fight is. Because you definitely, you know, can say that they are not going to be dealing with no bullshit. They're going to be like, listen, he's got to fight Deontay Wilder or he's got to fight us. And I think that they may want to get a Pulev or Fury because they know they can beat them. But in regards to selling, uh, and then if it goes to purse bid, there's a big issue looming. Unfortunately, I can't cover this fight until Sunday. Well, I, I, I'm going to be at Madison Square Garden 
from about 4.30 p.m. until about 2 a.m. in New York for the uh, Jacobs de Revianchenko uh, match from USA card. So what I'm saying is this main event is going to be on at about 5.30 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to already be in New York. That's usually the time the uh, main events come on, you know, over there here in the States. Here, let, in fact, let me go check to be double sure. Damn it. Yeah, let me do it over here. I'm going uh, to pull up the uh, ESPN Plus uh, schedule for you so you can see. So it's a very, very big fight. In my opinion, Huey Fury, even though you know it could be ugly, he could win. But he may have some uh, some issues connecting with that uh, that's that defensive style of Pulev, when he like he kind of keeps his uh his uh his his hands his jab hand out there like swirling around and shit. Um, where's it at? Where's it at? What am I looking for? My bad. Let's see. When does it come on? When does it come on? The car starts at four p.m. tomorrow. Well, not four p.m. They're probably going to be picking up maybe the the guy that uh, Big Baby Miller is rumored to be fighting. The shit. Let me see. Let me go look. Borjan Dinu is supposed to be on this card too. Against Tom Little, this guy right here. It looks like uh uh Imhotep from the Mummy One and Two. But on ESP, it says it's going to be starting at uh, at uh, five thirty. I mean four o'clock. So I'm wondering if in Bulgaria there's like a different hour difference or something. Maybe the car to start an hour earlier or the main event, whatever. I'm Tissue Controversy. This is Tissue Controversy Live. We will be talking more in detail about this on Sunday, definitely. Please subscribe. I'll link to my social media right down below in the description box.